okay now he's saying there's something that happened to us on the 15th on our 15th birthday meaning 10 years he has studied and 15th birthday is when he should stop studying so something has happened to us and he knows like he's saying that when i think about that event i kind of realized that it was all my fault because i did something bad and what i did was i didn't pay heed or i didn't pay attention to what the teachers had said now what have the teachers said they had said dare not choose in your minds the work you would like to do when you leave the home of the students you shall do that which the council of vocations shall prescribe for you for the council of vocation knows in its great wisdom where you are needed by your brother men better than you can know it in your unworthy little minds and if you are not needed by your brother man there is no reason for you to burden the earth with your bodies okay so what have the teachers told them what what is the big uh like revelation like 15 years you've studied 10 years you've studied you're on your 15th year okay 15 years old and now now we need to move on in life right we need to go and work or something but you cannot choose because in fact you dare not choose in your minds this is pretty amazing. This is pretty amazing. Ahil can say, I want to be a doctor. Now, Ahil can say that, but he's saying it with his mouth. If Ahil actually works upon it and like for the next 10 years, works hard to be a doctor, then I'm saying, okay, Ahil has truly chosen to be a doctor. But they're not even giving that kind of a leverage that, oh, you know, you dare not work towards your vocation, towards your job, towards what you should do. They're saying, do not think it. You can't even choose in your minds. Meaning they want to do mind control, mind control, okay, full mind control that they want to take over their minds, they want to dictate their minds and you know the mind is such a fickle creature, you can't even control your mind, you can't control your thoughts, but this society can and they're saying dare not, dare not, okay, okay, so dare not in your minds the work you would like to do when you leave the home because you will only do what the council of vocations tells you to do because now again the same kind of logic that they had given before they, oh the council is the best because it is the voice of man and so it is the voice of greatest justice on this earth so just like that why should you only listen to them because they in that great wisdom they're so wise that's why and they know where you're needed and what job you should do so whatever is the requirement and and then they say look at this unworthy little mind funny thing is if like you have an unworthy little mind then they shouldn't really bother what i'm thinking in it like what is their issue with it like let me think whatever i'm thinking right because i have an unworthy little mind but they're the fact that they want to like you only want to control something that's really precious right so they want to control their minds which kind of goes against the idea of the unworthy little mind system that they're saying here and they're saying then finally the teachers are saying that you know what if you do not uh, if you are not needed by your brother man if there is no place for you in this vocation vocation meaning in a work in a job then release yourself from this earth like there is no need for you to burden this earth with your disgusting little bodies die in other words die now we knew this well in the years of our childhood but a curse broke our will so although we knew it this curse like which right now we seem to think is the mind that he has so the curse the mind made him think we were guilty and we confess it here we were guilty of the great transgression of preference like we made a choice preference in other words is a choice we did the transgression like we did the crime of making a choice okay like do you prefer green hair eggs or ham right would you like them here or there you know like that kind of situation like anyone has a choice like i like green or i like red so no it's also like i want to be a scientist and i want to be a doctor exactly see now look what he's saying he's saying he preferred what was his crime he had made some preferences or he preferred some work and some lessons to some other works and some other lessons so he liked something over the other we did not like now let's see what he didn't like we did not listen well to the history of all the councils elected since the great rebirth but we love the science of things so they don't like history they like science we wish to know we wish to know about all the things which make the earth around us we are so many questions that the teachers forbade it they that's said, kind of no. like me this whole is kind of like me okay he's like you equality seven to one okay 
So he loves science, technology, how the earth ticks, what's going on around him. And he hates the history of man. Like he hates like political things and things to do with people. He wants to know about the na natural world. Like that has nothing to do with mankind. Sounds very uneducated. But it's like, yeah, that's what the, uh, what they're like in the anthem. These uh, uh, council scholars, they're yeah. like, they make a theory and they believe it's a law of science. Yeah, and then they're promoting it and they're not letting anyone else question it. That's the problem. Yeah, they're like making a hypothesis or uh, a theory and making it a law of science. Exactly. Like, you know, even now, scientists, they do their hypotheses, they do their experiments, they do all of that. And then they present their findings. Their findings are then peer-checked. Peer-checked meaning other scientists will look at their findings and see if they can come up with loopholes in their findings. If no one's going to come up with loopholes, then that passes off as a theory. Okay, that's a theory of science now. At least they're giving an opportunity for others to discredit the theory. In here, you're not even allowed to think. Forget about saying that you discredit it, or discredit it, or you're a or you have you know suspicions about it or you know you don't believe in it so really weird stuff okay let's see what else have they learned okay uh we have learned that the earth is flat and that the sun revolves around it which causes the day and the night not true 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 not true, not true at all